good morning and welcome to vlogmas day 8 <laughs> trying to get up and around so that I can leave to go back to school. It's 8 right now. Well, it's like 8.15 and I need to leave by 9, so I'm kind of already running behind. Um, I just don't know what to take back with me and I still need to clean out my car from all the stuff that I packed up in it. I only took like half the stuff out, so I still need to do that. And I'm taking Stevie back with me this time, so that's always an extra pain. Because it's really hard to get her in her cat carrier. I did notice she's sleeping in her cat carrier right now. So I'm hoping I can just like sneak up behind her and zip it up before she realizes what I'm doing. Um, so we'll see how that goes. home now well I'm back at my apartment it's like barely home anymore because I'm moving in less than a week but um Stevie's been acting very sad since we got home she doesn't usually act weird once we like once I let her out of the car but she's just been walking around like sniffing everything and crying oh there she is looking at herself in the mirror um she's just acting really weird I don't know why I think it must be because she hasn't been here in a few weeks and it just like she doesn't remember it or something I'm not sure um, she must have just gotten used to my mom's house but it's still cold here I'm pretty sure that my heat's fixed but it's only like 60 degrees in here so I don't know if they just have it turned down or if this is just the normal coldness of my apartment I never really I just knew it was always kind of chilly in here and I never really paid attention to the actual like temperature so I'm not sure it could just be a resting 60 degrees in here not positive but it's chilly still it's not as cold as it was though for sure i think that stevie's mad at me for disturbing her peace at home by making her come here she's been sitting up here pretty much since we got home she ran around crying for a while but now she's been hanging out in the loft where she thinks for some reason that i can't get to her up there what are you doing up there stevie She's ignoring me. She wants to be by herself. She's like a bratty teenager. Hello. There. I'm eating Indian food, my fave, with Esther. Esther's Indian. Well, she's half Indian, so she knows about all the good food. And Cameron's here. Cameron loves to be on camera. I love being on camera. It was so nice to see Esther and Cameron. Well, I see Cameron all the time, but it was so nice to see Esther. I hadn't seen her in a while. Uh, we pretty much closed the place down. They closed at 2.30 for like their in-between lunch and dinner. Um, and we left at like 2.45. So they probably weren't super happy with us there. But um, my head is hurting again. I don't know if it's something that I've been eating or if it's just like a nasty headache that won't go away. But I'm going to have to go home and like lay down for a little bit I think again. I took a quick nap before I came here but um, didn't really fix my problem. So... I'm probably going to go lay down for a little bit longer, hug Stevie, and then I'm going to go get some homework done. I'm really feeling the stress of the week before graduation. I did end up taking another nap. I just, I'm getting up and around now from that. It's like 6.30 now, so I slept way more than I should have, and now I'm probably not going to be able to sleep tonight, so that's fun. Um, I really need to go work on some homework, and... I still need to edit yesterday's vlog. I'm having a hard time motivating since I don't have Wi-Fi here in my apartment, so I have to actually leave the house to edit, which is like never something I want to do. It's always the most comfortable to just edit in your house, in my opinion. But um, I gotta get it done because Vlogmas is on a roll. I can't stop now. So that's something I need to do in the next hour or two. 
I was planning on going to Target because I want to look for a dress for graduation and also I'm like almost completely out of deodorant. I use the kind that's like um there's like little holes and it is like soft so it goes through the holes and it like won't crank anymore up so I've been using like a pin and scraping it out of the inside of the holes because I'm cheap and deodorant's expensive and I just haven't had a chance to go to the store. And, well, I have some at my mom's house, so I was using that when I was there. But now I'm back at school, so I'm going to have to figure out a solution. I think the solution is just to go buy more deodorant. But I just don't really feel like going to Target tonight. My headache's still not completely gone. I just took some Advil, so hopefully that'll kick in soon. Um, but, yeah, I have to resend my electronic press kit because something went wrong when I sent it in and I need to edit the vlog and I need to do some editing uh some like final touch-ups for my thesis project still so I've got a lot that I still could do tonight that I haven't gotten to yet so but the night is still young I took two naps today so who knows if I'll even sleep Stevie's doing much better now she's settled back into living at my apartment already as you can see, she's laying on me, and she's not letting me get my homework done. But I just want her to be happy, so I'm just going to keep letting her lay here. Hi, you got your butt in my face. I'm glad that she is back to normal, because she was making me nervous when we first got home, and she was just walking around crying, because she doesn't usually do that. Hi. Okay, bye. Good, she finally moved, which means I can get up and start editing. I'm sitting in a very dark corner, so it looks so bad and grainy right now, but I decided um, I was <laughs> feeling too lazy to leave my apartment right now, so I am editing at my apartment. Um, I just used my personal hotspot on my phone, since I don't have internet here, um, to transfer the files, so my family's going to hate me because I used a lot of data probably for that, so that's fun. Uh, but I turned it off. Don't worry, Dad, if you're watching this. I turned it off as soon as I was done transferring the files. And um, Adobe Creative Cloud doesn't use um, internet, so I don't need it anymore until I'm ready to export. Which, maybe at that point I should probably go to um, the Student Center or something, so that uh, I think it uses like a ton of... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Oh my god, my brain isn't working. A ton of data if you need to like upload a video to YouTube. So I should probably go somewhere to do that where I'm not using my personal hotspot on my phone. <laughs> but for right now, editing on my couch in the dark. I just finished editing yesterday's vlog, so... I'm going to export it right now, and then I'll get it uploaded um, in a couple minutes, but um, it was not that exciting of a vlog, <laughs> and um, once again, I don't think today's vlog is going to be very exciting. I haven't taken that much footage. Um, I had a feeling that this last week, oh my god, my hair, there's so much leftover hairspray from when my hair was in that braid that just like looks ridiculous today, plus I've been wearing a hat. Anyway. I had a feeling that this last week of the semester was going to be kind of rough in terms of vlogs because I am just so stressed and busy trying to graduate and get all my stuff in place and turn all my final stuff in and I just know myself when I'm under a lot of stress I put things off <laughs> like I've been doing with all of my editing and my homework like now it's 8 30 at night and I still haven't done my homework that I was supposed to do today. Um, so yeah, it's just like a terrible habit that I have to put things off. It's just because I get anxious and then I try to avoid things and distract myself with things that make me not anxious, which obviously is not the things that I need to be doing. So, um, I'm trying to just knock some stuff out now. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm going to, I might go get some Starbucks at, um, the student center. I don't know. Or go to Target. I don't know. Both things that, like, I don't necessarily need to do tonight, but um, <laughs> sometimes getting Starbucks and getting out of the house helps me to motivate. 
let's be honest, I'm probably not going to go get Starbucks, but I might. It's a good idea. Yeah, I'm not being as productive as I need to be, so I should probably go do that now. <laughs> Wow, I hate my life. I'm just trying to get this finalized so I can print it tomorrow. And it just, oh, well, you just witnessed it. It did just shut down on me after I just put in about a half hour of work. <laughs> this is just my luck. <sighs> that was stressful. Thankfully, um, Excel had saved most of my progress, not all of it, so... I just went back and finished it, and now I am done with all the homework I think I'm going to get done today. Uh, it's only like 9.15, so I really could go to Target still. It just like creeps me out to be like alone in Muncie at night. Um, I mean, Target's like pretty safe, but at the same time, like Muncie is kind of a sketchy town. So, I don't really know if I want to go out this late at night by myself. I might just like... I'm kind of hungry, but like not super hungry, so I might like go to the McDonald's drive through and get like a hot chocolate and fries, <laughs> which sounds like a gross combination, but it just sounds really good right now. Like fries are salty and then hot chocolate sweet and best of both worlds. <laughs> gross. I'm a piece of trash. At least I can own it. Do not jump off. <laughs> Please don't jump. Stevie's up in the loft right now and she wants to jump onto the counter, but <laughs> don't do it, Stevie. It's too far. You're not that athletic. <laughs> You're not athletic. I don't think you can make it. <laughs> Just come down here where it's nice and safe, please. Please. <laughs> She'll never listen. So I wasn't going to go to the store, but um, Stevie's been acting weird, like not being able to go to the bathroom. Like, so I think she's constipated. This has been going on for a few days, but I wasn't really paying attention to it till today. She was acting like weird and sitting in her litter box. So I got kind of worried about her because I know that constipation can be really serious in cats. So I went to Target. I'm in the Target parking lot. I am going to get some wet food because I'm worried that she might be dehydrated. So that has a lot more liquid in it than her dry food. And um, I also am going to get some canned pumpkin because I know that that has a lot of fiber in it. And that's something that vets will recommend when cats are dehydrated. Um, so I'm going to try to mix it in with her wet food because I don't think she'll eat canned pumpkin on her own. So huh, I'm going to see what I can do to make her go to the bathroom because I'm getting a little bit worried about her. It's been a few days since I've seen her actually poop in her litter box. My poor baby. This is quite possibly the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I just took a couple scoops of pumpkin, which by the way, just recently learned how to use a can opener. Very proud of myself. And this, which I got, this is not the kind that we give our cats at home, but I got it because it had the most fiber in it. It's just your typical home style turkey dinner. I have to say, this is essentially just Thanksgiving for a cat because it's pumpkin and a turkey dinner. So I really hope she eats some of it. She's not looking too amused, but look, CB, I got you this food. Do you want to eat it? It's for you. Oh, oh. Does that look yummy? Come on, baby. Come eat it. It's for you. Come on. You want to eat it? Come eat it. She is not convinced. I also got Stevie some cat wine because I thought maybe if she didn't want to eat her cat food, which it doesn't look like she is going to eat it, then at least maybe she would drink some water if it tasted like catnip. So maybe we'll try this. I'm going to try it. Well, it's a couple hours later now. I'm about to go to bed and I can definitely say that Stevie did not eat any of her wet food that I got for her. I gave her some with pumpkin, some without pumpkin. She sniffed it, took one small little nibble and was like, no way. And she walked right over and just started eating her dry food again and then went to bed. 
She didn't even drink her cat wine. She took one little sip of her cat wine. <laughs> she was not interested anymore. <sighs> so I guess I'm going to leave them out tonight. Like she can, I don't know, it's, I think it's kind of gross to leave wet food out overnight. Because it's like perishable. But she might get hungry in the night. And like now that I sp <laughs> spent money on it, I would like for her to eat it if she wants to. Or... <laughs> If she feels like being nice to her mother. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it out tonight. I'll throw it away in the morning if she still hasn't eaten it. But, um, I don't know. She's totally uninterested. So, at least she's eating her dry food. And I think I heard her drinking some water a little bit ago. So hopefully she's fine. I tried. And I made it out of the house to go to Target. And I got myself deodorant. So... <laughs> I guess at least that was a success, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now, um, but I will be back tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 9? Vlogmas Day 9, I think. Good night. <laughs>